Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing a hot oil treatment on my client here. I am going to lower my tripod really quickly. There we go. So we're going to lower the tripod so you guys can see a little bit better. All right. There we go. So a hot oil treatment can be done easily at home. She just took braids out of her hair. So her hair is um, in its dry state. It has not been washed yet. Nothing. When you're doing a hot oil treatment, you do want to make sure that the hair is in its dry state, which is the best way to do it. And then you also want to make sure that the hair is detangled ahead of time. So all I'm going to do is just go through with our wide tooth comb. Comb out her hair. Okay. Her hair is short, so it'll be easily detangled some areas <laughs> okay so all I'm doing is detangling her with our elite wide tooth detangling comb okay so for our hot oil treatment we're going to be using our goddess hair repair serum Okay, so you guys can see the Goddess Hair Repair Serum is what we will be using for the hot oil treatment. What I did was I put it into a squeeze bottle, which is a lot easier to use. So I'll show you guys exactly how I did that. Okay, so I took my serum. And I have one serum that I dedicate for just hot oil treatments. So it'll stay in that bottle. Okay, make sure it's nice and shaken. So you're gonna need two processing caps and also a, a face towel for this to be done. And what you do is you start by parting the hair out and just applying that oil in the parts. You do not need to use the oil on the hair, you only need it in the parts, okay? It will distribute itself throughout the hair all on its own. Okay, so I'm going to take my fingers and rub it in. This is at the time when you want to moist, like massage your head. So I've only done the back section so far. Okay. Put back for me and now we're going to do the front section Took back a little bit more. so all you're going to do you want to make sure that your head is tilted back and not forward remember this oil does run so you don't want it to run down into the face and all i'm doing is applying the oil and using my finger and rubbing it in at the same time All right, take my fingers, massage it in. It's very important that you do massage the scalp and get that oil really worked in there. If you notice, I did not use a ton of oil for this. You do not need a ton of oil for a hot oil treatment. And the good thing is I'm using the Goddess Hair Repair Serum so all of that goodness from the serum is going to get right into the cuticle. And we're going to open it up and I'll show you guys how we do that. All right. So what we're going to do is turn on our water here. So we're going to wet our towel with hot water. And we're going to take two processing caps. So we're going to take one cap. Put it around her hair while it's dry, okay? And then we'll take our other cap. So 
So what I did was I took a towel, I put it under warm to hot water, and we're gonna wrap this cap with the towel. Okay, you wanna make sure that it's warm. You'll take another processing cap and put it over the head with that towel encased. Okay, if you notice, I did not put the wet towel over her hair. I put it inside the processing cap over the cap that's on her head. And we're going to go to the dryer for 15 minutes. under that dryer for 15 minutes with the steaming towel and the processing caps. How a hot wall treatment works is you want the cuticle to open, but if you put a wet towel over dry hair, all it's gonna do is wet the hair down and the oil is not gonna really do much of anything. The reason why we use the warm towel is we wanna create steam, but we don't wanna wet the hair. We want the oil to be the only thing that penetrates the actual follicle, right? So that steam towel is going to help open that cuticle slightly. It's gonna help keep the hair nice and moist and it's also gonna become what we call a hydration treatment without actually touching the actual hair. Now, can you do a hot oil treatment with a steam machine? Uh, yeah, but remember oil and water doesn't mix. So if you're using oil and water, the water molecule and the oil molecule will separate and it's gonna create a big mess. So that's another reason why I do not like to use water or use it on, do a hot oil treatment on wet hair. All right, you guys. So my client here is under the dryer. We're gonna talk a little bit about the oils that you guys can use to do the hot oil treatment because I know a lot of you have questions about that. So we have three different serums. We have our Goddess Hair Repair Serum. We have our Super Regrowth Serum. And then we have our Growth Elixir. And we also have the Revive Serum. Any one of these serums can be used to do a hot oil treatment. If you have what we call an autoimmune disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid disease, lupus, those different kinds of things, then I would definitely recommend our Goddess Super Regrowth Serum because it contains pumpkin seed oil, contains CBD, it contains black cumin oil, which is black seed oil. These are oils that are absolutely amazing for people who have autoimmune diseases, especially the pumpkin seed oil. It also has niacin, biotin, and zinc, okay? So the difference between this particular serum and this serum is this serum does not contain pumpkin seed oil. It does not contain black seed oil. Those are high penetration oils. This particular serum also contains CBD. It is also high in zinc. It's also high in niacin, biotin, vitamin E, vitamin A, onion oil, garlic oil, okay? These are amazing oils for people who are dealing with hair growth issues. Our growth elixir does not contain any form of CBD, and that is for those of you who cannot use CBD or maybe you are afraid to use CBD because the language is not really there yet. So the, um, the growth elixir is great for children. If you're doing a hot oil treatment on your children, if you're doing a hot oil treatment on an older person, um, more mature, that is also great to use as well. Now, our last serum, which is the Revive Serum, the Revive Serum is a part of our Afri Goddess or African Goddess line. That particular serum is powered by hemp seed oil and it is absolutely amazing for a hot oil treatment, okay? It is absolutely amazing for a hot oil treatment. Hemp seed oil is a very good oil for hair, specifically for hair and the skin. And then of course, it also contains your biotin, your niacin. We wanted to make sure that all of our treatments contain that biotin, niacin, and zinc, because those are three ingredients that are absolutely amazing for hair growth and moisture properties. How often do we use a hot oil treatment? It is just like a protein treatment. You use it as needed. I wouldn't recommend doing a hot oil treatment too often on relaxed hair because it can make the hair even heavier. And remember, relaxed hair is high porosity. Hot oil treatments are really best for natural hair, but you can do it on relaxed hair, especially if you have um, scalp issues like dandruff, that kind of thing. It is amazing for that as well, for those of you that have really bad dandruff issues. 
you can use it for that as well so while she's under the dryer her hair is actually it's not steaming but that towel is keeping it nice and warm and it's keeping that oil moving you want that oil to really penetrate and move around the hair i love 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 my goddess regular strength oil awesome thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so outside of the serums, typically you want to make sure that you're using a serum to do a hot oil treatment. I don't recommend, um, you don't want to really use extremely heavy oils to do a hot oil treatment because that oil is extremely hard to extract. So I typically like to use more lightweight. All of our serums are very lightweight. All of our serums have a purpose. They are dedicated to a certain type of hair, to a certain situation. If you deal with alopecia, um, especially for those of you dealing with alopecia, hot oil treatments are going to be your best friend. You really will introduce those oils to that hair and that scalp and really enrich those areas as long as they are not scarred. So that's very important. You can also do a hot oil treatment with our scalp ale serum. For those of you that have a big, um, big issue with like dermatitis or psoriasis or dandruff which falls into the same area. The scalp L serum is actually going to be your best friend. We just up uploaded a video of doing a hot oil treatment for a client who had extremely bad dandruff for you guys to see how well it really works and what it can really do on the hair and the scalp. So we did upload a video like that for you to see as well. I'm not going to keep you guys on the video. Um, I really wanted you guys just to see the um, process of doing a hot oil treatment and this video is being filmed live. So that's another reason why I'm sitting and I'm talking about it because you guys never really get to get the information other than to really like see what I'm doing but not know why you're doing something. So that was another reason why I wanted to take this opportunity to really talk with you guys about it. Now, can you do the hot oil treatment by using just the bottle? Yes, but you're going to work a lot harder. So what I suggest is you're just getting an empty squeeze bottle, a nice clean bottle. You can use this bottle. Um, here, I'll find another one. You can use these bottles. You know, you can buy these at any of your beauty supply stores. And you put your oil into the bottle. This is for people who have a longer hair. So you can use this if you have longer hair and it's harder to get through. This will probably be better than this spout. It's better with the long hair. Can you cocktail? Can you mix your elite serums? Absolutely. If you have the growth elixir and the scalp ale, you can mix those together, create a cocktail, and do a hot oil treatment that way. Let's say you want to add more moisture and you want to add some coconut oil. You can do that as well. We already have coconut oil in our growth elixir, so you don't need to add any more. We also use macadamia nut oil in our products. So if you have a nut allergy, definitely be mindful of the ingredients in the serums before you use them. Um, one of our serums contains sunflower seed oil. The other contains jojoba oil. Um, I want to say our revive serum, if I'm not mistaken, does not contain any nut oils. And we did that on purpose because we knew that we had a lot of clients that had nut allergies. So our, whole, our Revive Serum does not contain any nut oils, but I am going to confirm that to be sure. But definitely make sure you guys are looking at the ingredients before you um, are using any um, or doing any form of hot oil treatment. And my hair is sweating and I'm going to push it back. Yeah. I sweat really quickly, so I'm just going to push my hair back. All right. So the client's under the dryer. Um, I'm going to bring her over really quick because I want you guys to see her hair right now. You will not see a difference immediately, you guys. That is not how treatments work. This is over time, of course. But you will see a huge difference if you have a scalp issue almost immediately. So I'm going to bring her out for a second because I want you guys to be able to see what's going on with her hair. Okay, so she still has the cap on. It's hot. Is it really hot on your scalp? It's not too hot. Okay, so to the touch of this part, it's really hot. Um, so I'm gonna, basically when you're ready to shampoo the hair, you literally will lift everything off all at once. Okay, your, your towel and your two caps. And then of course, if your client has, or if you have a scalp issue, now would be the time that you will go through, okay, the hair is nice and warm. Now will be the time that you will go through the scalp and lift up any type of buildup that you might have on the hair. She doesn't have any, well, in some places, I, I spoke too quick. I just saw some. But all you do is just lift that buildup up before you go through and shampoo the hair. 
The oil is nicely distributed through the hair, which is really, really good. I'm gonna bring you guys just a little bit closer. I'm hoping that my camera don't fall. Bring you guys close. Okay, so when you part through the hair, can you guys see that oil? It's at the root level and it will distribute itself throughout the entirety of the head. So you do not need an entire head full of oil. The oil is going to move around on its own. That is the purpose of it. That is the purpose of the hot oil treatment to nourish the scalp and the bulb, which will then bring that nourishment to the hair. That's very important. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her cap back on so she can go back under the dryer. I just wanted you guys to be able to see because I'm not going to keep you on live for that long. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our cap, pull that for me. And we're going to put that back on her head. You do want to make sure that you have a processing cap over the dry hair first. Okay. We're going to take our towel, which is nice and warm, and wrap her head with it. You want to make sure that you wrap the cap in its entirety. Okay. Nice and snug. And then we'll take our other processing cap and put that over it. You can also use a shower cap and do this, but those might be too thick. All right, my love, let's go back to the dryer. So that is how we do an elite hot oil treatment. I hope you guys got some good deets from this video. I hope you guys try this at home using any of your elite serums. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't mind the painters in the back. <laughs> Bye, guys.